Well, hello, everybody. My name is Michelle Moras, and I've got my friend here with me. What hey, you, you know who I am? Well, I, I want to go by Dr. Smiley, but just for people that may have known me before this, my name is Ken Roshan. And not to be confused with my son, who is also Ken Roshan, but he's the third. And for my dad, who may not watch the show, he's the senior. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Michelle, I mean, I've, started, I've done 400 shows, and I don't think my—I don't think I've ever gotten a call from my dad or anyone that has Roshan at the end of their name saying, "Oh my God, loved what you're doing on the show." So you're going to be the good luck charm that changes that. Okay. Well, supposedly we're live on Facebook, but I don't see it anywhere. And if I don't see it, then I can't share it to my other page. So I'm a little confused. Oh, there we are. Okay. So, so Ken, what are we doing with this? This is like a tester, right? What are we doing with this? Well, it's more like a toaster. You know, when you have bread and you don't know what you're going to do with it and you put it in the toaster and then all of a sudden it gets really crispy hard. And and like Jake in the Blues Brothers, he liked to have his toast really, really dark. So this is no, dry white toast. Dry white toast. <laughs> That's what it was. Good job. Um, so what are we doing? We are seeing how the chemistry, the dynamic, the, the vision of Amplifluence would translate in a show about Amplifluencing. Amplifluencing which is almost like dental floss. Um, no, but we are both on the same pathway of amplifying leaders and authors and speakers. And so we wanted to see what kind of show we could create that would attract that type of audience, inspire that type of audience, and most importantly, us live to share it more. Okay. And so why I asked you for all that was because people have been watching us bouncing around the United States and they're like, what the heck are these people doing? Is this like a book tour that never ends? It's the book tour that never ends. Yes. Because that's what Amplifluence is about. If you're an author and you hang out with us and you want to be in our town and we happen to come to your town, you can even sponsor us into your town. You can bring all the different authors, coaches, and speakers into the same room. And I put below here <clears throat> the website where you can find out where we're going to be, and then you can actually apply to bring us to your town. It's www.amplifluence.com. And if you try to remember that, it's Amplify Your Influence. It's Amplify Influence in one word, Amplifluence. That work? It does. And you know, I'm glad you cleared up that you did know the answer to that question. So I was just really telling it to the audience, I guess. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I wanted to share with everyone who's watching us right now is Ken Dr. Smiley Rashan is one very goofy and very smiley. He's got a nonprofit called the Keep Smiling Movement. And if you watch me and watch him, we always have something called a Keep Smiling Mixer or a uh, Mover and Shaker Keep Smiling Mixer. And that's what it is. It's his nonprofit, Keep Smiling. Can you tell us a bit about what the, the Keep Smiling is? Because we do it on everything we do with uh, Amplifluence. Well, I don't want to call it my Keep Smiling nonprofit. It is the world's nonprofit. I am just a co-founder of it. I had a gentleman named Barry Shore that handed me one of these Keep Smiling cards and I guess a second, a second Blues Brothers reference, because you remember in the Blues Brothers when he goes to the church and he sees the light and he does the flips and he goes, I see the light, I see the light. And it's because he found his calling. And for seven years after my mom had passed of Alzheimer's, I was looking for my purpose. And I thought I had it a couple of times, but really I had it when it was connected to leadership and smiles. And I say that from a standpoint that Leaders that cause smiles are truly worth honoring. They're truly worth celebrating. They're truly worth marketing and sharing. So that is what the Key Smiling Movement's about. It's about bringing people into the, the spotlight, so to speak, whether it's their inspiring story or it's just their beautiful smile being photographed and put into a book. But it's, it's a very corny way of moving the needle in the world that you don't have to worry about everything that's in your life. You need to actually focus on what you have that's wonderful, the gratitude, and you smile about it because that puts an indication in the universe you're ready for more good. So that's what it's really about. So let the sun shine, let the sun shine. <laughs> hey, I have I have a, a, a little cleanup that we need to do before we get too far down the road. What? Because I have a quote I wanted to say because of what you just said. Okay, do the quote. But in the, the quote the is, plant seeds of happiness, hope, success, and love. It will all come back to you in abundance. This is the law of nature. And that quote is from Steve Maraboli. Pretty awesome. I got to get that book. I got to get this. So it's on Amazon. Jeff Bezos has it there. 
good. So the little cleanup is that we are mentioning a company named Amplifluence, and we have a third party, a third partner, and his name is Todd Westra. And he will jump in and say hello every once in a while. He even give us some fun tips on how to turn your books and your funnels and your websites into monetized machines. And who doesn't want all the traffic that goes to their, their website or their social media to be turned into new clients and new opportunities? Well, I'm going to show you the page. I'm going to share the page. This is the oh, do it. Oh, do it. Let's see if I can do it and I can scroll down to his face. Oh, so yeah, that's this, good. This is our page. Can you hear mm -hmm. me? I can hear you. Great. This is amazing. Okay. So this is the Amplifluence page. And then these are our events we've sponsored. But Amplifluence Not all of them, but there's, that's a little taster, yes. Yeah, that's a taster. And then this is what we do. We work with the presence your publishing and your profit. And that profit side is Mr. Todd. Where's his picture? There he is. There we are. I need to get a new picture, Michelle. You really need a new picture. So does Todd. And we need to fix my name because I'm really capital and you're not. You know, these are all little things that can be fixed. Yes. But yeah, that was it. And then. Oh, and, and also I see another mistake on yours. Look, go down, scroll down a little bit. Oh, I can. I went to pictures already. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, the uh, you're you're missing uh, like a uh, three letters after your name. Oh, I am. Yes, I know that. And you get you just got your new book with uh, it, hardbound and with the correct three letters at the end. Go go closer with the three letters. That is mighty fine. Congratulations. I know that it's a pre-congratulations because you're just about to have it all complete. So thank you for uh, for stepping into that. Thank you for putting it on the book, which kind of put pressure on me to finish it. <laughs> so you always wanted to get your doctorate. I've always wanted my doctorate. I mean, uh, I'm kind of a, a bookworm. I love to study and I love to expand that way. And then when I got my brain injury, I went, well, that's out of the, that's out of the loop. There's no way I can do it. And then you introduced me to um, the International University of Entrepreneurship. 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 Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and that's with Dr. Uh, Jim Omps. Hmm? That was a Dr. Jim Omps, who is yes. the son of the founder. Yes. So when you introduced me to them and they told me they had a two-year program, I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> and then the overachiever in me is like, I want to be in and graduate at your 50th anniversary of your university. And you're like, okay, if you want, if you want anything done, give it to a busy person. So there I am. Yeah. And there's a, there's a really, that's a word, word that we want to analyze maybe in a second show, the word busy, but I'll give the teaser of it. Okay. How it's, how it's used correctly in that context, give it to a busy person because they know what it is to get things done. And then there's a busy person that just has clutter and they don't have any control of their time. And so an opportunity can literally hit them and they don't know what to do with it because they're too busy to look at it. We're not that kind of busy. No, we're not that kind of busy. We are very purposeful in our busyness. Now, something else about this podcast that will be coming and we're, we're, we'll be making this our goal is to make it every Wednesday, but we're going to play with time to see when the most amount of people can actually catch us live because Ken and I travel a lot. And one of the things I thought would be a big bonus with the Amplifluence podcast is Ken and I both have radio voices. Oh, I don't. Well, I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't. <laughs> but I was thinking, welcome to Amplifluence. My name is Michelle Moraz. And this is Dr. Smiley. I just thought well, those sound good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited because the Amplifluence website now has a show launched. And I don't think I have any other company that I've done that there was a show that was actually a front runner, a media piece. So this is really what Amplifluence is about. It's about taking every single media opportunity you have and showing the world that you're very serious about having impact. So there we go. I don't normally do things that are take things out of uh, evergreenness. Is that a word? Evergreenness? Well, we, we, well, we, we're not going to be evergreening because we got birthdays and stuff, right? That's exactly what I want to get to. It's April 20th. And in Colorado and those states, 
420 is kind of a big deal. And I wanted to say happy birthday to a couple of my friends that I know have birthdays today. And I know you have a few too. So I want to say happy birthday to Tony Taylor. I've known her for ages. And then Warner Stock, uh, not Stock, Stark. And then Rita Sullivan, she moved away from Colorado. She left me. And then Bhavna, I never would say her name right. Oh, you did four. I'm doing four because Bhavna, I can't miss her. I went to well, India good. with her. But yes. That's a, good, that's a good reason. Well, I have three and I will stay with three today. So I started this day off having breakfast, a birthday breakfast with a Miss Katie Brooks, who is responsible for being the first person to have Kenny do his uh, readings. So she is part of Celebri schools and there are 23 schools across the DMV area. And now you know what the DMV stands for, not the, not the motor vehicle. It's the District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia, where you're coming back on July 4th for Independence Day launch of potentially 100 authors. But to, it's just amazing that this person caused Kenny to do his first reading. And now Kenny is officially presenting, speaking, and he loved it. And guess what? He got Chick-fil-A from her that day. So that was just like a double bonus. And then we have Jennifer Baker, and she is a dynamic speaker and author. And uh, my good friend, Aaron Young, who I met at CEO Space, and he has a podcast. And I'm going to make sure you guys are introduced because he would love to have you on the show. Well, happy birthday to everybody. So should we do that? Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be the song side will always go to you. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and say, I'm going to say hi to Marcel and Mia because those are the ones I'm seeing pop up. But I don't know who else is watching. We have a couple more eyeballs in there that I can't see who they are. So say hi if you'd like. Anyways, this is day one, our tester of the podcast for Amplifluence. And if you're curious about what that is, that is what Ken and I have been running around doing. And our third partner, Todd, who is the uh, tech whiz of the three of us. So in the Amplifluence paragraph, par, par, paradigm, paradigm, I said paragraph, well, no, paragraph yeah, is my favorite coffee place out in Westcliff. That's why I said paragraph. I thought it was for queens that have grit and grind, and uh, you were letting them into the hold my crown. So I thought that was the reason. Hey, I want to expand on the Amplifluence, that that little tour we're doing across yeah. the U.S. So we're committed to going to 30 cities. We don't know when we're going to finish them, but we hope that Southwest takes a notice because we'd like Southwest to be our partner. We think they're wonderful. They have a big heart, and they fly us so well to these cities. And they don't. They're then they they have transparency. I mean, they're so good about not surprising us with eight dollar peanuts or anything like that. So, we are going to each city for a total of minimally two events. One is to celebrate the influencers and leaders. We call that the movers and shakers event, and that's to get to know each other. And how valuable is it to be able to meet people that are like minded and like hearted? I mean, come on. And then the next day, so many authors, as you know, Michelle, do not have a marketing plan or a campaign or know why their book is not having impact and they kind of orphaned their book. They leave it in the garage or whatever. And so we want to celebrate their book by creating a marketing plan and a campaign that gives their book a chance to actually be seen, embraced, reviewed, and get the, the, the respect it deserves is a good way to put it. Because if you have phenomenal content and you have really bad distribution, unfortunately you have a model of failure and, and disappointment and despair and you don't write any more books. How many books have you written, Michelle? Uh, three with my name first, and then I've got about another eight. Oh, these pictures are kind of funky. They're popping up. Can you see the pictures I'm sharing? I, I can. They're kind of funky. Yeah, they're cutting off heads. So I'll have to talk to them about that. But hey, that's you holding my book. It when is. Oh, I can't even see. I think you're looking at something different than I am. I'm looking at a group shot and a crown. Is that, oh, is it on yours? Yeah, no, I'm scrolling through pictures of you. Yeah, and it, it, it's stagnant. It, it just says the movers and shakers DMV, actually. Oh, it's not showing you everything I'm sure. You know yeah, but that's good because now people will go to the uh, to the website and see it. Okay, because there's lots of really cool pictures going on there. Okay. <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah, so, so when we have that lovely book that's had all that attention, and it just doesn't have a distribution plan. It just, it saddens me because so many people are doing really good things with the book, but they don't know how to balance out 
their priorities of what they're doing after the book. So I think for the most part, people put about 99% of their energy into making a book and they don't know what to do with the book. So only 1% of the energy and resources goes into the book afterwards, which causes this, uh, this underwhelmness, underwhelming. Do you know, there's no word that I, there's no, there's no word whelm. Oh, that's in your book. That's in your uh, book of nonsense. It is. There's, the there's no whelm, but there's an underwhelm. And well, there's overwhelm. an overwhelm. overwhelm. Yeah. Underwhelm is more of, I guess, the the parody of of the opposite of it. You know, um, you you read a quote. I haven't read my quote. So my son was to take a quote a day, write it down to practice his penmanship. And his first quote he picked was dreams. Now, what he did do, just to be clear, is he looked for the shortest quote so they could write a quote. But he did pick a doggone good one. He picked Mark Les Brown. Brown. He picked Les Brown, and it's the category dreams. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we're living our fears. And I wanted to do this quote today for several reasons. One, it's the first quote that he picked. Secondly, I think that is what stops a show from this, like this happening, or a book oh, like yeah. this happening, is the fear of not knowing what you're getting into, the fear of being uncomfortable, the fear of failure, the fear of success, which I find really the bigger fear for me. For me, it was too. That's <laughs> that was my big fear. So just put yourself out there and find someone that is going to cheer you on, support you, grow with you. And I think you're on the way. Yes. And I wanted to say hi to Heather. She popped in and she said, we can't see the pictures. We're only seeing the still shots. So thank you, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something new today. And Heather is one of my queens out of Hold My Crown. Oh, speaking of that, if you're in the Colorado area, we are doing two multi-author book launches. And uh, one's April 30th. That is at Coati, C-O-I-T-I in Colorado Springs from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., in Colorado Springs. And then we're doing another one on May 1st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Brewability and Pizzability in Inglewood, Col uh, Denver. Yeah, Inglewood, Colorado. And it is going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be as many as 30 authors there because we have the Queens coming to potentially both. And we have, of course, the Perfect Publishing family group that are also being launched and relaunched. Some, you know, if you're an author and you have a book that's not really impacting the world the way you would like it talk to us maybe we can republish it and get it on the book tour so it actually sees all these lovely cities and all these lovely people get to see your book yeah i actually, I actually want to talk about my goal with the show and the goal of the company please my, my goal is that we play so big that we accelerate a tipping point that anytime we meet somebody that we believe in we can accelerate their impact and success because our tipping point has enough people that want to embrace someone that has a great idea, a great book, a great vision, great project, et cetera. That's what I, that's what I want to put out there. That's my declaration. Well, I want you to, do you have a keep smiling book handy? You know, it's, they're typically very hard to find, but I'm going to, I'm going to go put my hands on one. I'll put my hands on one of my favorites. It's the Baltimore Hun. Oh, cute. <laughs> this, you remember the movie Hairspray? Yeah. So these are these are the lovely ladies that are supporting Baltimore, doing all these great events. And there's one woman in particular I'd like to show off because I just did her daughter's wedding and she is such a neat lady. There we go. Oh, neat. Yeah. Thank you, hon. And, and then this lady right here is pretty dynamic too, Monique. Uh -huh. She's got she's got a fantastic book. She's got a documentary coming out. So these women, th I mean. This woman, Monique, for instance, she goes around on her on her own time and helps people that are homeless and just gives them a helping hand, gives them a meal, just does things that are just one. These Huns are always volunteering to make Baltimore better. So that's the first book I'd like to show today. OK, about well, the reason I asked about that is because on the poster for the two book launches in Colorado, uh, we have that we have a uh, professional photographer that will be there. And the reason why he will be there is because he is taking pictures for the Keep Smiling Books of Colorado Springs that I'm attempting to build and yeah. Denver. So if you'd be interested in being part of my book, it's completely complimentary. I am just well, well we, we're, just, we're just highlighting special people uh, who make a difference. Oh, yeah. Avital's book. Thank you. Yes. And there's 
Avital in the back. Avital Miller, yes. And so and we are gathering people. But see, you're not just, you can't just take a picture with your cell phone. We need a professional shot with you holding the card that says, keep smiling. Okay. And see this picture right here? Yes. That's Jennifer Baker. You know what date is? 420? Yes. So this is a book that everyone needs to get. Yes, that's my book that's coming up. And we have we have some people that we need to fill some birthdays. So if you know someone with a birthday on August 29th or 30th, that's an amazing lady who's doing great things, please let Michelle know. I mean, we have August 28th available. And I'll just finish with August 27th. This lady, Terry Miller, decided I she's an she's uh her she has an angel uh podcast and she decided to sell a lot of stuff and get a, a car and she just went across the country during covid and did a tour of uh angels a tour of angels not too bad really? huh? yeah very, she's a terry is a great person for you to know and also have a your own uh, podcast as well hey have you ever heard of uh grandma sparky I think I may have. Well, I would like to tell our audience a little story. I've known Grandma Sparky through uh, a cruise, a mastermind, running to her at other dynamic women's events. And it's always been a hug and a snort. And we'll we'll talk and get say we're going to do some things. And they just don't happen. It's life happens because the priorities or the conversation is not where it needs to be. And I just wanted to thank you because a six-year relationship with her will come to not only fruition, but she did do her Dose of Hope chapter. And do you have a Dose of Hope book handy that you could show? Because we're going to, why don't we give away today, anyone who's a listener, you can ask for a Dose of Hope book. All you need to do is provide your email and we'll send you, show how thick the book is. It's thicker pages. than a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a Dose of Hope a day. It takes about 10 minutes a day to read and it'll last you about a month and a half. And there are four of them now, Michelle. And the fourth one has William Paul Young in it. And you. Oh, it's got Chris Salem. I know Chris. Chris is awesome, isn't he? Now, Chris is a guy that always takes care of getting things done. He is definitely a doer. He is. And he is. Because he, he was one of the first people I called for Dose of Hope. And he says, yeah, send me the template. I'll go ahead and do it. And he got it back to me right away. Really? So, yeah, Dose of Hope, just for the audience's uh sake of either participating or wanting to read it is an excellent oh there's William Paul Young the shack yes and actually Lauren Penn just popped up and um I nominated her for a dose of hope oh you so, know we're going so. to Chicago in uh Lauren Harris Lauren Michael, Lauren, Michael, Michael Harris yes yeah. we will be going to the we symposium and he's in the, the dose of hope book oh, yes so the is. dose of hope is sharing how you created who you are, and then your purpose that came out of that creation and the impact that it creates in the world. So it's kind of a neat little TED talk of about 10 to 15 minutes where you share with the reader what you're up to in life so that they can either help support you or do business with you or just be inspired. Yes. I'm, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm typing in. Oh, I'm typing in. No, wait. I'm typing in the uh, this. The Colorado uh, book launcher. Look at how you do that stuff. You know, um, and we don't, and that's three events or two? There's two. It's, it's just, two. but it it's really, so much information. It's so much, I mean, Pete's ability by itself is just like, it feels like two things you can do. I know. And I, it was very difficult because it won't let me put spaces between them. So they look like one gigantic word. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I was going to say that we want to divide these events because people might think that there's, just so much to do and just focus on going to Colorado Springs on April 30th and focus on going to Denver and use Southwest, please, please patronize Southwest. Do you know, um, I watched Forrest Gump a couple nights ago uh, on Saturday, I think it was. And it's so cool that when you see a movie and you haven't seen it in a long time and you've grown and you just see different parts of the movie. And I love when he would just talk and talk and talk about whatever. And he'd say, and you just finish and go, and that's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> that is all I got to say about that. Well, and I do know that, oh, here, I'm going to do the Colorado Springs ones first. Nice. And I want to share that, you know, you talked about uh, Grandma Sparky. 
she will be one of our very first official guests on this show. And I'm serious. She snorts. She just Da, 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 and she's the cutest, cutest woman. And she has an amazing nonprofit that she's going around with. Uh, what, what? She's got the blue ribbon. Who you are makes a difference. Who you are makes a difference. And it's a blue ribbon you present. We don't want to steal too much thunder, but the teaser is that we are reaching maybe 20 million people with the Keep Smiling Movement, with the Dose of Hope. She is going for one billion, billion. With, with a, a B. B, yes, with a capital B even. she Because I once said it where it wasn't sounding like a capital B. She says, no, it's a capital B. Hey, I would like to give some gratitude. I think we might be getting close to the end of the show because I'd like to give a gratitude moment. Please. I would like to, um, first of all, thank Robert and Noelle Peterson for all the work they've done on the two events, the Flyers, the behind the scenes stuff that is countless hours. They never ever say, gosh, it's a lot of work. They just always are supportive. And they write me the most encouraging messages like, um, we're, we're proud of you or, you know, we're, we're excited about the pace we're going this year. You're, you're making big things happen. And you know what that does to you when you hear that. So I just want to say thank you to them. Sentimentally, you moved me and I'm so happy you're part of the team and the family. Aww. aren't they cool and you recommended robert and i have to say what his podcast is called add value and it is all about that and it's interesting about the word busy and value to make a, an epiphany that is one of my favorite books I've, I've created through the entrepreneurology program which is the if you are too busy to see value you probably don't see the value oh say that again if you're too busy to see the value, there probably is not enough value. For instance, if I say to you, can we continue the show for another eight hours? Can, can we? Yeah. I think can we, we can. Look at that. Well, let me ask. Well, we can put it this way. What is hope worth? Hope is hold on pain ends. And if hold, you have hope, hold on pain ends. and if you have hope, you have access to whatever dream you want to embrace. Because you have hope. If you don't have hope, it doesn't matter what you come up with. You don't think it's going to happen. And you prove it to be true because of the lovely um, projection that you're doing, which is Henry Ford's, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So you create a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I believe Amplifluence is going to be a huge factor in a variable that causes success for authors, speakers, and leaders, because I believe we will actually be that committed. And the value we'll bring is going to be so immense that it will be a factor that no one will be too busy to come to an Amplifluence event. So that's what I meant. If you don't come to an Amplifluence event, you may think it's an hour out of your day. <clears throat> but if that hour out of your day connected you to, let's say, $100,000 worth of conversations and relationships, you may make that hour the most important hour of the day. And that's my point about value. And Robert uh, Peterson just is really all about value. And I wouldn't know him if it wasn't for you. And that's the type of person you could meet at an Amplifluence event. That's why I wanted to show the pictures of the of the Amplifluence events we had in Florida because they were with a bomb dignity. Yes, they and, were. And we had some even, uh, we had amazing ones in DC. And so basically they're going to build. And so if you go to the Amplifluence page, it's right here. And go to past events and you look at those pictures and say, I want to be part of that. There's a tab on the very bottom of the page that says, I want to sponsor Amplifluence to come to my city so I can amplify the people that I care about and that move my city around. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, and That's all you have to say about that? Well, I have something to add to that is that we don't want to leave anyone behind that you know and love and trust and want to honor as well. So if you're going to... Uh, if you know that we're going to a city that you have friends in, like I live in DC, Maryland, Virginia area. So if you have people that you want in that area to be part of the books, or you have friends in Colorado Springs or Denver, by all means, let them know that we're excited to get their picture and have them in the book that is uh, honoring them as one of the movers and shakers. And by the way, these are the positive people. Limit is 100 being shown to as many as a million people. I mean, it, the, the, the population can get these books for free. 
Yes. We're not stopping, so we're not stopping anyone from getting this book. And that's why the Dose of Hope book is going to hit 20, 10 to 20 million because of how many people are giving it away for free. Yes. And that's the thing about Ken is he's a little wacky like that. He said, you cannot sell that kind of stuff. It's, it's you give it out to free for free. So these books go out as eBooks, PDF books that we give out to everybody. Everybody gets it. I mean, you can, like me, I went and bought a, the hard version of it because my story's in there, but we share it freely. And mm -hmm. that's really what we do with love and hope and smiles is we give those freely. You can't really put a price on them. Yeah. And it's also, I think, have you heard of the Peter principle? No, please share. The Peter principle is that the person who's the hardest working person in an office space or in a company gets to be punished because they're the hardest working person in the office space or company. So when something needs to be done, you say, oh, let's have Michelle do it. She'll do it because she does everything for the company. And so the Peter principle is you punish the person who's the most productive person in the company. So you don't want to ever punish someone who creates the most smiles in the world. You don't want to punish someone who creates the most hope in the world and creates the most inspiration in the world. So when I capture these pictures, I don't want to add a price tag to the fact, hey, you create too many good things in the world. I'd like to charge you. So our policy is we do not charge for smiles. We do not charge for hope. But. But. <laughs> Well, because we also put in that if they if people are coming to the event and they need a new headshot, right. that you will do the headshots. And I think we put them at fifty dollars because he'll process them and make them pretty and send them back to you. And uh, I think you'll get it in color and in black and white. Is that true? Yeah, and and the thing that's kind of cool is that we can add them. Uh, they get a nice clean shot they can use for all their social media, but they don't have to do $50. They can send a hundred dollars. They can even send a thousand dollars to keep smiling movement because that keeps us on the road more to capture more smiles. So this is really not a game of seeing if we can make a sale. It's really about connecting a smile and a professional person to the world. So they're actually attracting opportunity. Yeah. We're about, we're about linking people. Yeah. We're about linking. And so that's really what it's about. But if you really, really want to have a good time and you're in the Colorado area, definitely check out the two events, come out to the Colorado Springs one. That is April 30th at Colorado Coyote, I think is what they call it, in Colorado Springs, 1 to 4 p.m. in downtown Colorado Springs. And then the other one is May 1st at Brewability and Pizzability in Inglewood, 11 to 2 p.m. So join us there. And if you happen to be in the Chicago area, Boom. On the <laughs> <laughs> Ken and I will be at the We Symposium. So if they want to have a good time, if they want to have a good time, they want to get a lot of value. They want to meet like-minded, like-hearted people. Come to these events. If they now, let's give them an option though. If they want to have a bad time, and they just they want to be miserable, stay away from these events. This is not a good place to be. <laughs> avoid us. If you if you don't want to smile and you don't want to have a great time, just avoid us. But if you yeah, do, if you don't like positive people, if you don't like positive people, this is not the place to be. Do not go there. Do not avoid us because he is Dr. Smiley. And um, I, if once I get my doctor officially doctor in my name, I'm thinking Dr. Sunshine might be my little code name I go for. Oh, really? My dog agrees. Cool. Oh, well, John Maxwell calls me Sunshine. So I'm thinking, yeah, but your dog's not just agreeing, your dog is being emphatically. I mean, it, that is an emphatic agreement. That is amazing. Sunshine, I'm, <laughs> the second you said Sunshine, your dog was like, don't you ever not think about calling yourself that. That is amazing. <laughs> and now he won't stop. So we are at 33 minutes and we promised ourselves that we'd only go for 30 minutes. So we better. No, but we always give more. We always add more value. 33 is a magic number too. It's a beautiful number. So 33, we are double piecing. Like there's probably six piece signs here. <laughs> so um i'm so glad we had our first show michelle we've been talking about this for a month or two and we uh we're gonna fill your book up with queens and yes we're i need queens and we're gonna fill your heart and every single person that comes in contact with influence with more positivity yes and if you want to know more you know write us directly uh here's his name and here's my name that's how you can find us on facebook you're probably on my page so you know my name so write me and say hey i want to know more about this amplifluence or go straight to the website amplifluence.com and uh check out those pictures because ken took some amazing pictures and so i'm and so glad we had this time together 
Well, and also give them a choice. If they want to write us indirectly, just do it more inefficiently. Just misspell one of our names. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ken is also a doctor <laughs> and his brain works much faster than mine. So have a wonderful rest of your week. Keep smiling. And until next week, when we meet again. Stay amplified. Stay amplified. And influence okay. inspiration. How about that? We're working on a tagline. We're working on it. I like that. Stay amplified and keep smiling. Yeah, cool. and, with keep smiling. and remember, cool. be unapologetically smiley. Bye now. Oh, and always remember, don't forget. Bye. Thank Bye. you everyone for joining us and share the live stream because I don't know how wacky this is going to get. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And for Jamaica.